In achieving the goal of health system development, there is a need for health workforce, which is an essential resource for the movement of the health system. For Thailand, the current political and socio-economic changes have certainly affected the health workforce in terms of inadequacy, urban-rural imbalanced distribution, and ineffective support and motivation systems. To effectively resolve the problem of health workforce efficiency, the cooperation of all sectors concerned is required. Health volunteers as popular sectors health promoters, a case of the Lachinda Subdistrict Health Promoting Hospital. A health center serves as the frontline unit providing primary medical and health care, where it is convenient for the people to access rapidly. Health promotion, disease prevention, medical treatment, and rehabilitation are the major roles of all health centers in Thailand, as they are actually located near local residents. Here is the Lachinda Subdistrict in Sampran District of Nakhonbatom Province. Most of the residents in this subdistrict are farmers. However, some are industrial workers. Although Nakhonbatom is adjacent to Bangkok, it is still an important agricultural area of Thailand. For local residents here, not only do they earn their living as farmers growing vegetable gardens and orchards, some of them also serve as health volunteers, playing the role of health promoters, which they are proud of, in the popular sector in the Lachinda sub-district. Here is the Lachinda Subdistrict Health Promoting Hospital. Today, all health volunteers, each covering 10 households in the subdistrict, hold a meeting to summarize what has been done and discuss ways to support the activities of subdistrict health officials. The Lachinda Subdistrict Health Center has been upgraded as a primary care unit, a community medical unit, and most recently as the Lachinda Subdistrict Health Promoting Hospital. At the hospital, health officials are the key persons responsible for all activities, and they are supported by doctors, nurses, and a team of multidisciplinary professionals who take turns in providing medical care and health promotion services to the people in this area three days a week. This approach not only helps the people to get access more conveniently and rapidly to medical and health care, but also eases the overcrowding problem at larger hospitals. At the same time, 91 health volunteers also play a significant role working in the communities on health promotion, as well as disease prevention and control. Their assistance helps relieve the burden of sub-district health officials whose number is insufficient to cope with the rising number of patients, especially those with chronic illnesses such as cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and diabetes. กลุ่มเนี้ยเป็นกลุ่มที่สําคัญ
Mrs. Amala Sinin, head of the health center, said that despite the inadequate health workforce, there has been the support from the popular sector, which sees the importance of the health care facility. The popular support has been provided through the participation of the groups of health volunteers, elders' clubs, women's clubs. They have become key persons in every development effort of the Latinda sub-district. Ms. Walapon Rakachib, chairperson of the Health Volunteers Group in the sub-district, said that being health volunteers requires volunteer spirit. They have to be ready to help others. Upon training completion as health volunteers, they can use the knowledge gained to assist other members of their families and communities. Having worked very closely with the patients, the volunteers become more kind-hearted and generous. Working together with local communities is one of the community empowerment processes, which have been carried out for a long time. Today, they hold a monthly community meeting that is attended by representatives from various groups. The meeting is discussing and making recommendations for problem solution, setting directions, and planning health activities for local residents. In addition to having the knowledge of basic health care, the health volunteers have been given additional training so that they can properly take care of chronic and elderly patients. This is regarded as the capacity building effort to make them more confident when actually working in the community. This is an example of a specialized village health volunteer who has been applying the knowledge and skills in chronic care to his mother, who has kidney disease. The volunteer is now able to provide tube feeding, kidney dialysis, physical therapy, and rehabilitative care. Training in such kind of complete cycle care for chronic patients has to be properly undertaken by a team of physicians and health personnel. Kanit Puong Tip, a specialized health volunteer, has been a health volunteer since the beginning of the primary health care program, as he wanted to gain the basic health care knowledge for helping other community members. Having completed the specialized training, he is now able to provide chronic care for patients at home and give advice to patients' relatives as well as his own family members. <laughs> Through the popular sector participatory management approach, some health volunteers have been upgraded as specialized village health volunteers and the holistic full cycle process of such service management has been adopted by the Talat Tinda Subdistrict Health Promoting Hospital. Today, this place has been the model of success as the 2010 Outstanding Health Center of the Country, which attracts a number of people to visit and learn the concept and procedures for application in their own workplaces.